Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here again. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate your Binance Fishers trading using Meta Fishers. All right. So, all on autopilot, you can be trading on Binance, okay, on Binance Fishers and be making profit on a daily basis. All right. And the bot we are going to use that is the Meta Fishers bot from Bot Z. I've been using this bot for a while now. And since it has been working very well, Okay, on the Fishers platform on Binance, I just decided to share with you. So what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to, you know, set up the Meta Fishers bot, how to link it up to Binance, and then activate the bot, and you can start using it to start trading all on autopilot on your Binance account. All right. So if you are new to my channel, you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading, investing, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel all right and if you do gain value from this video do give it a thumbs up and if you want to learn more about crypto you want to join my weekly zoom meeting then link to join my telegram group will be in the video description where all the links are posted on a weekly basis all right and if you do love the meta features you want to sign up for an account you can equally use the link in the description to sign up for an account all right following the step-by-step -step guide that i'm going to share with you in this video okay so the reason why i love meta features as compared to other bots is because it trades features all right it trades features and the features trading on this board can be done manually or it can be done automatically and to me okay if you want to start doing the features trading uh, like a full-time business I will prefer you use the bot, okay? I will prefer you use the bot to automate your fishers trading because it is better, um, it helps you manage your risks and it takes away emotions, okay? So you are sure of making profit on a daily basis using this bot, all right? More on that will be coming in the Zoom meetings and maybe in subsequent videos, but this video is all about setting up the bot. So if you are ready, let's jump right into it, okay? So the first thing you want to do is to use the link in the video description, okay, to sign up. Once you click on the link, it brings you here. All you just need to do is add your email, send the code to so that email. Make sure you use a valid email because you need to send the code. And then add your phone number. After that, you click on sign up, all right? So once you successfully um, signed up, all right, once you sign up for an account, the next thing is that the system automatically generates the password, um, transaction password, for you okay they generate the username your login password and transaction password for you so it will be displayed on your screen just like you are seeing right now and you can copy this or take a screenshot of it and save it somewhere okay these same details you are seeing here your username your password and the transaction password can equal it is equal it has equally been sent sorry it has equally been sent to your email so when you log into your email you just go ahead and click on it all right, so after that, you see below here where it says download um, the APK uh, the app. You need to download the app because it comes in form of an app. So you need to click on that download button. All right, so once you click on that download button, it will pop up. Just go ahead and click on OK. All right, if you are doing this for the first time on your phone, just click on um, OK. Once you click on OK, it will be downloaded. All right, so it will not download the bot Z to your phone. So once you finish downloading the bot Z, you need to log in. Just go ahead and install the bot first. All right. So if you are prompted to, you know, allow uh, give permissions, go ahead and check allow. Okay. And then just click on okay. Once this countdown finish, okay. Once you finish count the countdown finish counting, you just go ahead and click on okay, and you'll be able to install this bot. All right. So when you go back, um, just the arrow at the top, click on it to go back. That is, if you are using Android phone, I'm doing this with Android phone, okay? So click on install, all right? So once it finishes installing, we to open up and then we go ahead and log into the bot, okay? So this is the bot Z, so we'll go ahead and open it up. Once I open up this bot, it will ask us to log in. So the email you signed up with and the password that was generated for you is what you use to sign up here, okay? Uh, or sign in here sorry you just click on it once you sign in this is where it brings us to okay so they have all of these different but the bot z is an ecosystem that uh, you know houses different bots for different purposes okay so you have the bot for sport trading for features for forex for meta games and the rest 
So our interest here is basically on the futures trading board, all right, because this is the most profitable board out of all they have here. Okay, and another one is the gaming board. I wouldn't advise anyone to go with this board. So we we'll click on the futures board. Just go ahead and click on it. And once we click on this board, it takes us to the Meta Fishers website where we need to download the Meta Fishers board. Okay, alone, a board alone for the Meta Fishers that we can now use to link up with our Binance. So just go ahead and click on um, Google Play. If you are using Android or you click on the App Store, if you are using iPhone, okay, you can equally download your PDF there, all right, if you want. So if I using Android, click on the Google Play. If you are using iPhone, click on the App Store. And once you click on it, it will pop, prompt you to download the app, all right? So go ahead and download the app. Once the app finished downloading, you want to install the app again. So this is the MetaFishers app that we are installing right now, okay? This is what we are going to be using to automate all of our trades. So once it finished installing, we are going to open up the app. And then we log in again with the email that we signed up with and the password that was generated for us all right so once you open it up this is how it is you just click on sign up or login okay so once you click here put your email password and then it brings you to this page all right so here we are we can you know trade activate this for the features which costs 150 dollars all right the 150 dollars subscription is per year so this is what you pay yearly you can use it to trade metal and games okay you can use it to trade all these other ones even forex is equally here but majorly our features, once again, this is the one I've tried out, which is the features trading board, all right? I've tried it out, it works in well for me and it will work well for you as well. So go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, this is where it brings us to, this is the interface where we are right now, okay? So the first thing we want to do is to go ahead and click on Bind API. This is the way the board can have access to our Binance account and start trading features for us. So go ahead and click on the Bind API. So if I go ahead and click on that, it brings us here, these are the different exchange, but our concern is Binance, and it is only Binance that is active right now on the board, okay? Others are coming soon, so we just link it up with our Binance account. So once we open up this page, we'll now navigate to Binance and create the API that we're going to put here. So if I go ahead and open up my Binance account, all right? So once I open it, the first thing to assess when to create your API, you want to click on where it says more, okay? Click on more. Once you click on more, you need to scroll down to the bottom, okay? Um, just scroll down to the end. Once you scroll down to the end, this is where we have API management. Go ahead and click on API management, all right? So we click on API management. It will open up where we are going to create the API key, all right, that we are going to be using to link up to the MetaFishers board. So let it load up, and then we'll go ahead and, you know, just name it and start creating API. So once it loads up, all you need to do is just to go ahead and you know click on create API and name your API. Okay. So I'm just going to name this the Meta Features. Okay. I just name it Meta Features. You can name it whatever whatever you want. Okay. I have different APIs, so I decide to name it Meta Features so that I will know that this API is for Meta Features in case I need to exit the API in the future. So click on OK. And once you click on OK, it will prompt you to, you know, go on with all of these captions. So go ahead and click on it. And then after that, you will need to send a code to your email, to your phone number. All right. So just send those code and then we'll go ahead and add in those details. Once I get the code, I'll go ahead and input them. So once I input the code, you can just go ahead and click on submit. All right. So once you click on submit, the API key has been created successfully, all right? So the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and actually click the arrow pointing down, okay? This arrow pointing down to expand this API we just created so that we can see the secret key and the rest. So go ahead and expand that. Go ahead and open it up, okay? So first thing is to highlight the secret key and copy it, okay? Please highlight the secret key and copy it. That is the first thing we need because once this API, the secret key goes in, um, is hidden, we can no longer copy the cell, we create another one. So copy it, navigate back to the MetaFishers board. All right, remember we opened it down already. So now that I've copied the secret key, I will navigate back to the MetaFishers board and paste it there. All right, 
So once we open here, when you say secret key, go ahead and paste that secret key, you just copy it. Okay, so once the next thing I need to do is if I scroll up, you see where it says edit, close to the meta features. So just go ahead and click on edit. Once you click on edit, we are going to edit this API. Then we want to give it permission. It can read the balance. Then the next permission is to trade features. You see where it says features. Okay, enable features. So go ahead and enable that. Once you enable it, you want to come down to where it says um, restricted IP address. Select it and then paste that IP address you copy here and click on confirm. So once you paste the IP address, then go ahead and click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, scroll up and click on save all right so save okay if you get this error there's a new feature which is this enable uh, system wide list okay so make sure you by default it will be enabled okay if you get that error or it, by default it will be enabled so make sure that you um, disable it once you disable it you cannot save okay so once you save it will prompt you to send if a, a code to your phone number so input the code and that is it. We have been able to edit the API key successfully. So the next thing to do is to copy the API key itself, the first one there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and copy the API key. Just click on the copy icon that is close to it. Click on it to copy it. And that has been copied. So now that it has been copied, we'll go back to meta features and then paste the API key there. All right. So go ahead and paste your API key. Then scroll down and send a code to your email. Okay, just click on send code and then go to uh, copy the code and paste. Once you're pasting the code from your email, click on uh, read and understand. Then after that, once you take that, you go ahead and click on continue. And this pops up, click on proceed. Okay, once this pops up, just click on proceed to proceed to the next um, phase of the setup. So here, there are four different options. They read whatever they are written there and agree to it. So once they are satisfied with it, you go ahead and agree. So the first one we agree. Then after that, you now click this blue arrow to go to the next one. Okay. So we only agree to this. Just click on check the I agree box. Once you check that, click the arrow to go to the next one. Check this one again. Okay. You can read whatever they're saying, and the maximum um, leverage you can use with the meta box is 10x leverage. Okay. So the last one, just go ahead and agree to it, and we'll now go ahead and click on buy. All right. So once again, the maximum leverage you can use using the uh, Meta Fusion board is 10x leverage. So you are very safe whenever you are using this board to trade. You will not be losing too much money. All right. So once you do that, click on buy, and the API has been binded successfully. So our Binance account has been linked to our Meta Fusion account. All right. So after binding this, the next thing is to activate the bot. All right. The next thing is to activate the bot. So to do that, click on this three dotted line at the top right. So it will bring us here the menu. Okay, to bring us here. So click on deposit. All right. So it costs 150, but if you're activating this between now the 8th of June, you'll pay hundred dollars. So make sure you copy this address. All right. Once you copy the address, you can go to your Binance or whatever exchange you want to deposit money from. You deposit your money plus your, um, what's it called? Plus your fuel or your gas fee. Okay. Um, after the 8th of June, all right. After the 8th of June, you'll be paying 150 to activate this bot. So take note of that. So once you deposit that into your bot, into the account, you see this inactive return to active. All right. So once you deposit 100 uh, USDT, TRC20 actually, the inactive will become active. So once it's active, it means that your board has been activated. The next thing is to fund your Binance account and then you can start trading. All right. So your, your gas fee will be reflecting on the asset. Okay. Here where it says asset, that is where your gas fee will be reflecting. So make sure that when you are depositing money, you deposit more than what you, uh, the activation fee. So from the 8th of June, it will cost you 150 USDT, okay, to activate the bot. So if you want to put your gas fee, you now need to deposit $200. Why 150 is used to automatically activate the bot for you? $50 is now used as your gas fee. But if you are doing that between now the 8th of June, you can do it for $100, meaning that if you deposit 150 into the bot, okay, from that address you copied, if you deposit 150 into it, 
100 USDT will be used to activate the bot for you for one year, and then $50 will be left in your account that you can use as gas fee. All right. Now, gas fee it all depends if you are starting with a hundred dollar or there about because what the bot charges is 20% of whatever profit they make for you. Okay, so since the bot does not have access to your Binance account, they can only charge their own fee from the gas fee that you are depositing into the bot, and that gas fee can be withdrawn whenever you want. All right, so make sure you deposit the gas fee. If it is from anything below $100 or there about, you can deposit like 20 USDT. If you have anything from $200, $500 and above, I would uh, advise you deposit from, you know, 50 USDT and above as your gas fee. Okay? And always make sure you pay attention to the gas fee because once the gas fee reduces or when it finishes, your trades will no longer function. So you need a gas fee for your trade to be working. So in the next video, we are going to look at how to start taking trades using this board. All right? That is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do try to like the video and subscribe to the channel.